The Furno inline fastening system is designed to securely hold a compatible Furno product inside a ground-based ambulance. The system is for professional use only by trained emergency medical service operators. Be sure to thoroughly review the inline fastening system user's manual before using the product. The inline fastening system, when installed and maintained properly, meets or exceeds all applicable global specifications and standards listed in the inline fastening system's user's manual. Be aware that the standards and specifications are updated periodically. Current guidelines are available directly from organizations that develop them. Contact information is listed in the user's manual. The integrity of the inline fastening system relies heavily on the installer to secure the fastening system to the ambulance in a way that meets or exceeds guidelines that are in place at the time of the installation. Also, the integrity of the fastening system relies on the user to regularly inspect and maintain the system. There are three lengths available of the inline fastening system, inline short, inline medium, and inline long, and all are compatible with the Furno NX patient transport and loading system. The length of the inline fastening system is dependent on the size of your vehicle. This video is not intended to cover the installation of the mounting blocks or other means of securing the product to the vehicle floor. Installation of the inline fastening system requires a skilled professional who is familiar with ambulance construction. Check with the mounting block floor system installation manual for specific information. Directions on installing the Furno mounting block floor system for stat track and inline fastening systems can be found in the mounting block floor system user's manual. The inline mounting rail secures to the vehicle floor with two lower posts that lock into the floor mounting blocks. The top of the mounting rail has three posts that lock into the upper fastening system. The inline short, which is used in this program, uses two mounting blocks. The mounting block at the rear of the ambulance is shared by the mounting rail and safety hook. The inline medium and inline long each use three floor mounting blocks. With the medium and long, the mounting rail mounts to the two blocks toward the front of the vehicle. The safety hook mounts to the mounting block at the rear of the vehicle. After preparation of the vehicle floor, you should be ready to install the mounting rail. Use a 6 mm Allen wrench to remove the two holding screws from the adjustable plate at the end of the mounting rail. Orient the mounting rail with the narrow end towards the rear of the vehicle. Slide the mounting rail lower posts into the floor mounting blocks. If the mounting rail will not properly seat into the floor blocks, consult the mounting block floor system installation manual under Installing the mounting rail. At this point, you should only be temporarily installing the system. Do not use Loctite or other permanent sealers just yet. After you've made any necessary adjustments, there will be an opportunity to finalize the install. When the mounting rail is properly seated, use a 6 mm Allen wrench to install the two holding screws into the adjustable plate at the end of the rail. If the screws do not completely install tight against the plate, the mounting rail is not properly seated. Consult the mounting block floor system installation manual under Installing the mounting rail. If the set screw was not already loosened to adjust the lower post, use a 2 mm Allen wrench to loosen the set screw in the mounting post at each end of the mounting rail. Use a 6 mm Allen wrench to tighten or raise each mounting post inside the slot of the mounting blocks until the mounting rail is tight against the floor of the vehicle. 
turn counterclockwise to raise the post. Use a 2 millimeter Allen wrench to tighten the set screws in the mounting posts at each end of the mounting rail. Prepare the four quarter inch flathead screws that are provided and receiving threads in the safety hook mounting block by cleaning the threads of the screws plus the mating threads of the safety hook mounting block with acetone or an appropriate Loctite cleaner primer which is not supplied. Allow the threads to dry completely. Orient the safety hook mounting block with the three center holes toward the rear of the vehicle. Apply one drop of thread locker, such as blue Loctite 242, to the threads of the screws. Install the screws immediately. Wipe off any excess thread locker. Use a 4 mm or 5 32nd inch Imperial Allen wrench to install the four quarter inch flathead screws through the safety hook mounting block and into the floor mounting block. Let the thread locker cure for a minimum of one hour before using the system. To install the safety hook, place it in the slot at the patient left side of the safety hook mounting block, or the right side as viewed standing at the vehicle rear doors. Position the hook exactly three and three quarter inches, or 95 millimeters, from the edge of the door sill to the face of the hook. The face of the hook is the inner surface where the safety bar catches the hook. Insert two of the provided locator pins to secure the safety hook in the safety hook mounting block. The location of the pins will vary based on the position of the safety hook. Next, place the insert in the other side of the safety hook mounting block with the threaded hole toward the rear of the vehicle. Align the insert even with the safety hook. Insert the other two locator pins to the safety hook mounting block. Again, the location of the pins will vary based on the position of the insert. Use additional help as needed to lift and move the fastening system onto the mounting rail. Avoid pinching the ICS cable. Do not connect the cable until after all the necessary adjustments are complete. Inspect the mounting slots on the upper fastening system nose near the safety hook. The threaded holes in the safety hook and insert must be visible through the slots of the fastener. If the position is not correct, refer to the Mounting Block Floor System Installation Manual, Section Adjusting the Fastening System, Adjusting the Mounting Rail. When the position is correct, use additional help as needed to remove the upper fastening system and connect the ICS cable to the floor connector. Center any excess cable in the middle of the mounting rail where it will not be kinked or damaged. Orient the upper fastening system over the mounting rail with the receiving plates over the floor lock posts and set the system in place. Verify the upper fastening system is properly positioned on the mounting rail with the safety hook passing through the slot in the nose. The entire fastening system should be flat and level with the floor. Use a 6 mm Allen wrench to tighten the large fastening bolt. Verify the floor lock indicator window changes from green to fully red, which means locked. Use the same wrench to tighten the set screw until snug. Use a 4 mm Allen wrench to attach the nose screws and washers and tighten them until snug, but don't over tighten. Check both ends of the fastening system for any looseness or wobble. Using both hands, grasp the fastening system near one end and attempt to rock it side to side. If there is any noticeable movement, adjust the installation. Repeat this check at the opposite end of the fastening system. Test the system by loading a compatible Ferno product into the fastening system and remove it several times. 
Verify the undercarriage legs can be raised and lowered without interference. Verify each safety bar of the product engages the safety hook during every loading and unloading process. Verify the product locks securely in the fastening system. If you have an NX, verify that its power is shut off by the fastening system and confirm the ICS begins charging the NX battery. If the product has any interference during loading and unloading or does not lock properly into the fastening system, adjust the fastening system as needed. C. Adjusting the fastening system in the mounting block floor system installation manual. You may also contact Ferno or your ambulance manufacturer. If the NX power is not automatically off when engaged in the fastener, Check the ICS connections. After the fastening system has been confirmed and tested with a compatible Ferno product, remove the upper fastening system from the mounting rail and fix the following screws in place with thread locker. Two holding screws, four forward end adjustment plate screws, two rear end holding plate screws, two nose screws. Apply one drop of thread locker, such as Loctite, to the threads of the screws. Install the screws immediately. Wipe off any excess thread locker. Use a two millimeter Allen wrench to loosen the set screw in the mounting post at each end of the mounting rail. Use a 6 mm Allen wrench to tighten or raise each mounting post inside the slot of the mounting blocks until the mounting rail is tight against the floor of the vehicle. Finally, use a 2 mm Allen wrench to tighten the set screws in the mounting post at each end of the mounting rail. Thanks for watching this Ferno training video on the mounting block floor system.